And let's flow. Come onto your backs. We're going to start in Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees open wide. Come all the way onto your back. Option for your arms here. You can bring your hands to your belly. You can bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. If you prefer cactus arms, it's a nice little gentle stretch through your chest and shoulders. You can cactus your arms out wide. Just take your time to find a shape that feels nice. You can even move around a little. Eventually, though, settling into stillness. Close your eyes if they're not already closed. See if you can let the points on your back body that are touching the floor really settle in. The back of your head, the back of your shoulders, your pelvis, and the outer edges of your feet. And start to bring your awareness to your breath. And you might notice that just by bringing awareness to it, it grows. See if you can go with that. Let your breath start to grow. Take longer inhales in through your nose. Full, deep exhales all the way to empty. When we show up for a yoga class or a meeting with a client, we kind of have a sense of what the session will look like. We're familiar with the basic flow of a yoga sequence. We have our bullet points and outline for our meeting. We have a general sense of preparedness and direction. However, we have no guarantee our class or our meeting will unfold the way we think it will. Maybe it runs right down our page and ticks every box. Or maybe it runs around our back and takes us somewhere we couldn't have even predicted. Whatever the case, after we put our part of the work in, after we show up ready, we must let go. We must come with the confidence that if things don't go as planned, we are skilled enough to adapt and manage them. And if the outcome is not 100% what we wanted, we have to learn to loosen our grip on our ideal image of the outcome, come to terms with the truth of what is, and then go back to the drawing board. On our mat and in our lives, when we combine these two qualities, adaptability, non-attachment, when we learn to manage a situation or pose and to be present in the truth of it, we can lean into the confidence in our ability to handle any situation we arrive at. And with this flexibility, we do not bend or break. Instead, we flow. Take one more. Full breath in and full breath out. Gently stretch your legs out long, reach your arms overhead. Take a full body stretch, get longer from toes to fingertips. And then squeeze your knees into your chest. Give them a nice little hug. Take some gentle rocks side to side through your knees. You can let this trickle up into your shoulders, maybe into your neck and head. And then let those knees fall to the left. Look to the right. Come into an easy twist. You can use your left hand to gently press your knees towards the floor. Stay soft in that right shoulder. 
Try and inhale a little more length along your spine and then use your exhale to sink into the twist. Inhale back through center. Exhale your knees to the right, look left. Maybe that right hand gently presses on your knees, encouraging them to melt towards the floor. Stay easy in that left shoulder. Inhale more length along your spine. And use your exhale to deepen the twist. Inhale, come back through center. Bring your hands behind your thighs. Engage your abdominals. Start to build a little momentum and just rock forwards and backwards a couple times. Use this to massage your spine, rocking all the way back to your shoulder blades, all the way up to your sit bones. And after a couple of these rocks, make your way to all fours. Any way you'd like, you can roll over your shins, you can swing your legs around. Take your time setting up. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, spread your fingers wide. Bring your knees under your hips, tuck and spread your toes. On an inhale, cow pose. Flip your sit bones to the ceiling. Imagine you could drag your hands to your knees as you pull your heart forward and up. Exhale, cat, tuck your tailbone, lift your belly, push into your hands, spread between your shoulder blades. Again, inhale, cow, sit bones lift, heart pulls forward, hands draw back. Exhale, cat, round your spine, create space across your upper back. Inhale, cow, waving through your vertebra. Exhale, cat. From here, start to take your head and hips to the right. We're just going to make a circle. Lift your head and tailbone towards the sky, moving through cow. Head and hips to the left, and then come back into that rounded spine cat position. Take a couple circles to the right. You might even close your eyes. Don't worry about what it looks like so much. Just make it feel good. Finish up one more circle to the right, and then switch and circle left. Hips and head left, up towards the sky, around to the right, and into cat. And again, just make it feel good. It doesn't have to be super precise. You can let it move and flow. After this last circle, come to a neutral spine. With your toes tucked under, inhale, prepare. Exhale, stretch back, downward dog. First down dog of the class, take some time. Create space here, pedal out your legs. You might shake out your head, release tension in your neck. If it feels good to open your mouth, stick out your tongue, that's a great place to find some release. And start to settle into the shape. Spread your fingers wide, press all the way into the pads of your fingertips. Get longer through your arms, longer through your side waist. Lift your hip creases and sit bones to the ceiling. Melt your heels towards the floor. Keep energy reaching out your heels on an inhale, pull forward to plank. Shoulders stack over wrists. Lengthen out your heels at the same time. Lengthen out the top of your head. Get longer. As you push into your hands, zip your belly in and up. Get stronger. Take a full breath in. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Again, inhale, shift forward to plank. Long and strong. Exhale, hips up and back, downward dog. One more time, inhale, pull forward to plank. This time, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your elbows straight back and lower all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, walk your toes back, get longer through your legs. Tuck your tailbone to your heels, spread wider across your lower back. Reach behind you, interlace your fingers. See if you can squeeze the heels of your hands together, even if you have to keep a bend in your elbows. Roll your shoulders back. On an inhale, start to drive your knuckles to the back of your room and lift your chest. Shoulder blades are drawing together to widen across your collarbones. Tuck your chin just a little so the back of your neck is long. Press down more through your feet, press down more through your hips. Inhale, lift your chest two inches higher. 
Exhale, release, forehead to the floor, hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes. I want you to lift your knees off the floor by engaging your legs. So fronts of your thighs activate, knees lift off the floor, inhale, prepare, exhale, press up to plank, and then right back to downward dog. And again, take what feels good in this down dog, exploring how your body feels today. Start to pedal those legs, and this time walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Take your time. Once your feet arrive, open them hip width apart. Soften your knees, spread your toes. Grab hold of opposite elbows, give those elbows a pull. Use that pull in your elbows to get longer through your side waist. Then I want you to close your eyes here, feel this in your body. Once again, just like in down dog, just like in those circles on all fours, if any movement is calling you, take it. Maybe you pedal the legs, maybe you sway the torso, maybe not, maybe you stay still and breathe. Release your arms, soften your knees and slowly unroll all the way up to stand. Good. Once you arrive, take a couple shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together at the top of your mat, big toes touch, hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes. Taking a moment here to return to our intention, exploring Adaptability and non-attachment. Adaptability. Being able to respond to the unpredictability of the universe with agility and grace. Non-attachment. Being able to loosen our grip on the visions we have of what we want things to look like. Exploring these through our flow and perhaps beyond and off our mat. Bow your forehead to your heart to seal that intention in. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Lift your heart, press your palms. Big exhale to dive forward, drop your head. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Take your time, yogi's choice. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, shift forward, try and squeeze leg towards arm. Stay there. Tick tock that right knee over to your left elbow. Bring it back to the right, two more. Over to the left, back to the right, one more. Take it left and right. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot all the way up between your hands. Left foot comes to meet it. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold and let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, press your palms. Exhale, fold right back over your legs. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, press into your hands and feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Inhale your left leg to the sky, melt your right heel to the floor. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, shift forward, squeeze leg to arm. Stay there. Tick tock that left knee over to your right elbow. Back to the left, two more. Take it right and left. One more, right, and left. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. 
Right foot comes to meet it. Inhale, long spine, reach out the top of your head. Exhale, fold and let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Lift your heart, press your palms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Imagine you can move your hands away from each other. Exhale, down dog. Imagine you could scoop your hands towards each other. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Shift forward. Here we go. Tick tock that knee to the left. Back to the right. Two more. Keep pushing into your hands. Left and right. One more. Left. And right, inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Left foot comes to meet it. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Press your palms. Exhale, fold forward last time. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Tick tock that knee to the right. Back to the left, two more. Take it right. And left. Right. And left. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift that left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, half lift. Right foot steps forward. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. And this time, stay. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Soften your knees as much as you need to and grab onto your big toes in yogic toe lock. First two fingers and your thumbs wrap around your big toes. Push your toes into your fingers. On an inhale, pull your chest forward, lengthen. Pull your fingers into your toes. Exhale, fold. Give your shoulders a couple rolls. See if you can slide your shoulders up your back as your head reaches to the floor. Elbows bend out to the sides. Push down and out through your heels to lift and spread your sit bones. Take a full breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Release your hands. Heel toe your feet all the way to touch. Bring those big toes together. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Try and drag your weight back into your heels. Scoop your tailbone forward, pull your belly in. Counterbalance that reach down and back through your hips by lifting your heart and reaching through your fingertips. Full inhale. Exhale, prayer twist right. Press your palms, hook your left arm to the outside of your right leg. Try and use that leverage, arm and leg, to spin your left ribs around and up. Draw your top shoulder back. Inhale, more length from tail to head. Use that exhale to twist a little deeper. Inhale, Ujkatasana, stay low, reach those arms up. Exhale, prayer twist left. Right arm hooks to the outside of left leg. Again, use that leverage, arm and leg, to help spiral your right ribs around. Roll that top shoulder back. Inhale, more length through your spine. Use that exhale to twist. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, big stretch. Exhale, down dog, settle and breathe. On an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms forward and up. And then take a moment here. Let those shoulders kind of dance around. See if you can work your biceps back in line with your ears a little more. Let your hips press forward. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. 
Start to trace your gaze and fingers along the ceiling towards the wall behind you, adding a back bend. Take a full inhale. Exhale, half splits. Hands to the floor. I want you to scooch your back knee back just an inch or two, and then stretch your front leg long. Try and flex your right toes back towards your face. As your hips pull back, reach your heart forward, get longer as you breathe in. On an exhale, full. Stay for a breath in. Soften into the stretch as you exhale. Bring your right hand inside your right leg. Bend your right knee, coming into a lizard lunge. Now check out this back leg. I want you to pivot that left foot over to the right so your back shin is parallel with the back edge of your mat. Right arm stays inside that right foot. Inhale, left arm to the ceiling. This is a sort of modified extended side angle. Reach through those left fingers. Press your right knee open and think of sending your hips towards the side wall that's now in front of you. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Push off your front hand. Inhale, modified side plank, big transition. Left hand lands towards the back of your mat. Spin your right toes in to parallel your right foot to the front edge of your mat. Lift your hips towards the ceiling as you reach your right arm overhead. And then again, see if you can press your hips towards the side wall that's in front of you. Take a full inhale. Exhale, three-legged plank to the back of your mat. Right hand down, draw your left knee towards your nose. So we're squeezing that left knee in. Inhale, three-legged dog, shoot your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, rise, high lunge facing the back of your mat. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior. Left leg stretches straight, left toes turn in, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Right toes spin out, bend that front knee deeply. Right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior, keep that front knee moving forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Let's start today with our right forearm on our right thigh. Left arm straight up to the ceiling. Use your right arm to open your right knee. Take that left arm back behind you. Try and work into a half bind. You can always modify if you need to. This might be where you stay. Maybe you sneak those right fingers inside your right foot. Energetically draw your right sit bone back towards your back heel. Push a little more through your back foot and lengthen out the top of your head. Spin your heart and ribs and gaze to the ceiling. Inhale, reverse triangle. Front leg stretches straight. Right arm reaches all the way up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Hands to the floor, square off. Inhale, low lunge twist. Right arm high. Exhale, right hand to the inside of your right foot. Skandasana on the right. Start to pivot onto your back heel. See if you can take those back toes straight up to the ceiling. Use your right arm to push your right knee open wide. Hands can stay on the floor. If you'd like a little balance challenge, hands can come to your heart. Hands can open wide or maybe bind around that right leg. Wherever you are, let your pelvis get a little heavier. Lengthen through your spine. Take a full inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, turn to face front. Step that right leg back and lower halfway down. You can always modify chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, empty as you exhale. That was a lot. We're gonna move through that on the left. Inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Drop your back knee, take your time. Inhale, crescent moon, reach forward and up. And again, same care, same attention. Just start by dancing in those shoulders a little. 
Biceps in line with your ears. Let your hips move forward. Start to lift your heart and gaze. Trace your gaze and fingers along the ceiling towards the wall behind you. Breathe into that back bend, full inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Setting up for half splits. Scooch your back knee back a little bit. Stretch that front leg straight. Flex your left toes back towards your face. As your hips pull back, reach your heart forward. Inhale into that long spine. Use your exhale to soften and fold. Stay for a breath in. Full breath out. Left hand comes inside your left leg. Bend your left knee, lizard. We're going to take that back foot over to the left side of our mat. Parallel your back shin with the back edge of your mat. Left arm stays inside your left leg. Inhale, reach your right arm up. As your hips move forward, also give those hips a little push towards the side wall that's in front of you. Can you relax your shoulders away from your ears? Reach through those top fingers. Take a big inhale. Stay as you exhale. Pressing off your front hand. Inhale, modified side plank. Right hand comes towards the back of your mat. Pivot your left toes in to parallel your left foot to the front of your mat. Reach your left arm all the way overhead. Left hip lifts to the ceiling. Pelvis pushes towards that side wall in front of you. Inhale into your left side body. Exhale, three-legged plank to the back. Left hand down. Squeeze your right knee towards your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Shoot your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Reach up. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior, right leg stretches, right toes turn in, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two, top of mat, left toes spin forward, left knee bends deeply. Left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Let's start with that left forearm to left thigh. Reach your right arm to the ceiling. Push your left knee open. Start to reach that right arm back. Maybe half wrap that right arm behind you. Energetically, left sit bone lengthens towards that back heel. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you slide those left fingers down. Try and roll your top shoulder back. Pull your belly and front ribs in. Push into your feet. Inhale, reverse triangle. Front leg stretches straight, left arm reaches back. Good, exhale, low lunge. Hands to the floor. Inhale, low lunge twist, left arm to the sky. Exhale, left hand inside that left foot. Skandasana, take your time. Spin all the way onto that right heel. Try and point those toes to the ceiling. Left elbow can push that left knee wide. Hands can stay on the floor, maybe to your heart, maybe wide, or maybe fine. Inhale here. As you exhale, chaturanga, take your time, hands down, shoot that left leg back, bend those elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, let's open our mouth. Big exhale, out the mouth, move it through. Have a moment, land here, reconnect to your breath. As we flow through this again, right side, left side, can you remember those skills of adaptability and non-attachment? Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, reset your spine. Exhale, fold and let it go. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, prayer twist right, just tap left arm to right leg. Inhale, Utkatasana, arms overhead. Exhale, prayer twist left, tap right arm to left leg. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Let's smooth it out. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. One breath, inhale, crescent moon, reach forward, up and back. Exhale, half splits, hands down, back knee back, stretch that front leg and fold. Stay for a breath in, fold deeper as you exhale. Right hand inside your right leg, bend that right knee lizard, pivot that left heel over to the right. Inhale, reach your left arm to the sky. As you exhale, push off that front hand, set up for modified side plank, right toes pivot in, left hand lands, right arm reaches overhead. Full breath into that right side body. Exhale, three-legged plank, left knee pulls to your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior, left leg straight, left toes in, reach up. Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior, big stretch. Exhale, extended side angle, your choice, forearm to thigh or right fingers to the floor. Half wrap that left arm behind you. Spin that top shoulder open. Press into your feet. Inhale, reverse triangle. Front leg stretches. Reach that right arm back. Exhale, low lunge. Hands to the floor. Inhale, low lunge. Twist. Right arm high. Exhale, right hand inside your right leg. Working into Skandasana. Spin to your left heel. Any variation of arms. Hands down into prayer. Wide or bind. Let's take a full breath into the shape and as you exhale transition into chaturanga inhale up dog stretch exhale downward dog last time left side inhale left leg high exhale step your left foot between your hands drop your back knee one breath inhale crescent moon reach forward up and back exhale half splits hands down Back knee scooches back, front leg stretches and fold. Stay for a breath in. Fold deeper as you exhale. Left hand comes inside the left foot. Rebend that left knee, lizard. Pivot that right foot over to the left, parallel your back shin. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, modified side plank, press off that front hand, spin your left toes in, reach your left arm overhead, full breath into your left side body, exhale, three-legged plank, left hand down, right knee pulls in, inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back, exhale, step your right foot forward, inhale, high lunge, reach up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior, right leg straight, right toes in, arms up. Exhale, warrior two, top of mat. Good, left palm to the ceiling, inhale, stretch back. Exhale, extended side angle, forearm or fingers. Right arm reaches to the ceiling and then half wrap that right arm. Get longer through your spine as you rotate around. Push into your feet. Inhale, reverse triangle, front leg stretches, left arm reaches back. Exhale, low lunge, cartwheel down. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, left hand to the inside of your left foot. Skandasana, take your time. Spin your right toes to the ceiling, any arm variation you'd like. We're here for one big breath in. Use that exhale to find chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog for three slow breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in, 
full breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump. Feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Soften your knees. Start to unroll slowly, one vertebra at a time. Taking a moment when you arrive to roll those shoulders back again. And this time as you inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, reverse prayer behind your back. Spend your shoulders in to create a little space. Couple options, reverse prayer is one. Second option would be opposite elbow grip. Third would be fist to fist. So whatever feels good on your body today. Roll your shoulders back, keep your right foot forward, step your left foot back a few feet. And then make any adjustments here to find a stance where your hips are square, right hip back, left hip forward, legs are long and heels are grounded. Anchor through that back heel, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, Parsvottanasana, lengthen over your front leg. Keep your hips pulling back, especially that outer right hip as your heart reaches forward. And then at the very end, let your head relax. Full breath in. Exhale, we're staying for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, keep your shoulders rolling back. Take one more breath in. Fold a little deeper as you exhale. Press into your feet, inhale, just lift halfway, long spine. Stay there, extend your arms to a T. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, Parvrita Trikonasana, a little more moderate twist, left hand to the inside of your right foot. A little deeper twist, left hand to the outside of your right foot. Keep that outer right hip drawing back. Spin your left ribs around. Inhale, one. Exhale, scissor your inner thighs together to help you balance. Inhale, two. Exhale. Take one more breath and reach through those top fingertips. Exhale, release, hands to the floor. Soften both knees, shoot your left leg through and have a seat. Ah, take a breath. I want you to squeeze your right heel in towards your right sit bone, but keep a little space between your right foot and your left thigh. Left fingertips behind you. Inhale, reach your right arm up. It's okay if that right hip lifts. I want you to get as long through your spine as you can. Keep that length. Exhale, pitch forward. Again, it's okay if that right hip lifts. Get as far forward as you can, and then wrap that right arm around your right shin. This might be where you stay. Adaptability, make changes as needed. Maybe that left arm comes behind you. You might work towards a bind. On an inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, fold. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in and out. Make your way up to sit, release your bind, bend that left knee to match your right and then just let your knees fall open wide. Soles of your feet together, sit up tall, take a breath in, exhale and fold. You might see how it feels if you push your feet together that might allow you to widen through your inner knees a little more and rotate in those hip sockets a little more. Relax your shoulders down your back. Relax your neck, your head, your face. Start to make your way back up to sit here. Close your knees and stretch your legs out long. Feet are flexed. Sit up tall, take a breath in, exhale and fold. Can you walk your sit bones back a little bit, reach your heart forward a little more, and then just refold over your legs. Easy shoulders, easy head, great place to close your eyes. Mm -hmm. 
Yogi's choice to stay here in this forward fold. Or if it's in your practice to come into a plow pose, or if you'd like to try it, you can come with me. Starting to unroll onto your back, hands will come to the floor. Push into your hands, use your abdominals, lift your hips and bring your toes to the floor behind you. Try and interlace your fingers and tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Push your arms into the floor. Lift the backs of your kneecaps up to the ceiling. So stretch those legs if you can. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, if you're in that forward fold, just stay there. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. If you're in plow pose, exhale, palms to the floor for support. Start to unroll one vertebra at a time. Once your lower back touches the floor, hug your knees into your chest. If you're in forward fold, you can start to unroll onto your back and hug your knees in. And then we'll all just take some swishes and sways side to side, like we did in the beginning of class. And then we'll take some rocks forwards and backwards, like we did earlier. And Yogi's choice here. We're gonna meet up and down dog. You can make your way there any way you'd like. Perhaps you roll over your shins and move through a flow. Maybe you just swing those legs around and step back. Whatever your body is calling for, take your time and we'll meet up and down dog. From down dog, inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Soften your knees, roll up slowly. When you arrive, roll those shoulders out. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, reverse prayer, elbow to elbow, fist to fist. Find your variation of arms. Roll those shoulders back again, and this time left foot stays forward, right foot steps back. Make any adjustments you need to square your hips, left hip back, right hip forward. Legs are long, heels are grounded. Anchor through your back heel, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lengthen as you fold. Hips are pulling back, heart is pulling forward. Use that to lengthen your spine. At the very end, let your head go. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more breath in, fold a little deeper as you exhale. Press into your feet, inhale, just lift halfway, get longer through your spine, extend your arms to a T, Inhale, prepare. Exhale, parvrita trikonasana. Right hand inside your left foot, a little more moderate. Right hand to the outside of your left foot, a little deeper twist. Stay anchored through that back heel. Keep that left hip pulling back as the top of your head reaches forward. Inhale, finding length. Use your exhale to rotate around your heart towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, two. Big breath in, exhale, release. Hands to the floor, soften both knees. Shoot your right leg through. <sighs> Have a seat. Nice, squeeze that left heel in. Keep a little space between your left foot and right thigh. Right fingers behind you. Reach your left arm to the sky. It's okay if that left hip lifts. We're just trying to get as long as we can. Big inhale. Exhale, get even longer as you reach forward. Maybe that left arm can wrap around the front of your left shin. You might stay here. Right arm might reach behind you for a bind. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath in, fold deeper as you exhale. 
Make your way up to sit, release the bind. Bend your right knee in to match your left and then let your knees fall open wide. Sit up tall, take a breath in. Exhale and fold. If your elbows can meet your inner thighs, sometimes it's nice to use those elbows and push your legs open wider. Stay easy in your neck, your head, your shoulders. Big full breaths. We'll make our way back up to sit. Close your knees, stretch your legs out long. Feet flexed, sit up tall, take a breath in. Exhale and fold. Walk those sit bones back. Reach your heart forward. Re-soften, re-fold. Yogi's choice again. You can stay right here in this forward fold. If you'd like to move into plow pose, start to roll down. Using your hands into the floor, using your abdominals, lift your hips, toes to the floor behind you. Try and interlace your fingers and tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Get high up on those shoulders. Press your arms down. Press the backs of your knees up. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, wherever you are, start to unroll onto your back. We'll all meet up on our back, knees to chest. Take some gentle sways side to side. Take some easy rocks forwards and backwards. And we'll all meet up in down dog any way you'd like to get there. No rush. From down dog, start to walk your hands and feet together. Come to the middle of your mat. So hands and feet come towards each other. Forward fold, middle of your mat. Heel toe your feet a little wider than your hips. So here's where we can practice that adaptability. Manage yourself. Whatever comes up, stay confident in where you're at. You can stop and breathe anywhere you'd like. And if you fall out, great, you pushed your edge, no worries. And non-attachment, once we do it, we're gonna let it go. Bird of paradise. Right arm comes inside that right leg. You can use your right hand on your right ankle, your right calf, to try and get that right shoulder as far underneath that right leg as you can. Now this might be it. You might stay and breathe. Maybe that left arm comes behind you for a half bind. That right arm might sneak through and around to catch your left hand. This is a great place to breathe as well, pushing into your feet, trying to stretch your legs a little longer, gazing underneath that left shoulder towards the ceiling. If you'd like to take it further, gaze to the floor. Heel toe your right foot in to shift your weight to your left leg. Maybe come up to stand. Final steps. You might extend that right leg straight. You might gaze over your left shoulder wherever you are. Breathe for three. We'll meet up in that forward fold in two and one. Rewind slowly, back into that forward fold. Shake it out, here's where we let it go. Whatever happened, release, big exhale. This is a new side, different side, no expectations. Let's check out the left. Soften your knees. Bring that left shoulder, that left arm inside your left leg. Left hand can come to left ankle or calf to help deepen that left arm inside. Right arm sneaks around for a half wrap. Maybe this is it. Maybe that left arm comes around to catch right fingers. From here, push into your feet so you can stretch your legs a little straighter and look under that right shoulder to the ceiling. This is a great stretch. Maybe this is it. If you wanna try that balance challenge, gaze to the floor. Heel toe your left foot in. Shift to your right foot, take your time. No rush. 
Maybe you rise. Maybe you stretch that left leg. Maybe you gaze over your right shoulder. Wherever you are, breathe for three, two, one. Forward fold, rewind, let it go. Move around, shake it out, big exhale. Heel toe your feet all the way to touch. Bend your knees deeply, come down into a squat. And then walk your hands behind you and just have a seat. Let's take our right shin parallel to the front of the mat. Double pigeon, try and stack your left shin on top. If this is too much, bring your left leg in front and sit cross-legged. Wherever you are, flex your feet. Sit up tall as you breathe in. This might be it. This is a deep hip stretch. Maybe with your exhales, you slowly fold forward. Starting to slow things down a little bit. Eyes can be closed. That's a great way to turn your gaze back inward. Connecting to your breath and sending your breath to any places that might be talking to you. Anywhere you feel gripping or resistance, try and send your breath there. Walk your hands in. We're going to keep it simple and just swap out our legs. Left shin on the bottom, right shin on top or in front. Feet are flexed, sit up tall, take a breath in. As you exhale, fold. Maybe you close your eyes. Great place to practice adaptability and non-attachment here. If this is a challenge for you, how can you adapt using your breath? If this doesn't feel or look like what you think it should, can you let that image go and just be with what is? Start to walk your hands back in. Bring your hands behind you, feet wide, knees bent, and just let your knees sway side to side. You can go as deep or as shallow as you'd like. Just a little release through your hips and your lower back. And we're gonna work our way all the way onto our back again, hugging your knees into your chest. We'll take eagle legs in our twist today. I want you to see if you can double wrap your right leg over your left. If that bottom wrap doesn't happen, that's fine. Just wrap at the top. Keep your knees in close to your chest, arms to a T, and let your knees fall to the left. Look to the right. That left hand might come to your legs for a gentle press towards the floor. If it feels good to close your eyes here, close your eyes. Inhale through center. Unwrap those legs. See if you can find your version of eagle on the left. Left leg wraps over. Knees fall right. Gaze to the left. Maybe use that right hand to press your legs down.
Inhale your knees back through center. Unwrap your legs, happy baby. Flex your feet towards the ceiling. Catch for the outer edges of your feet. Pull on your feet to bring your knees towards the floor and then push your feet into your hands to try and lengthen your lower back down to the floor. Release and hug the knees in. Wrap your arms around your shins. Bring your forehead to your knees for a big, big squeeze. And release and set up for a final rest. Legs long and wide. Arms alongside your body, palms to the ceiling. Close your eyes. Take any fidgets you need here to settle into stillness. Finding those back points of your body and letting them drop into the floor. Back of your head. Back of your shoulders, elbows. Backs of your hands. Your pelvis, your calves, your heels. Drop in. Slowly start to deepen your breath. 
Coming back into your body, tiny movements, wiggle your fingers and wrists, your toes and ankles. You might sway your head a little side to side. Start to walk your heels in towards your seat to bend your knees. And roll to your right. And just take a moment there. A little transition from your practice on your mat to your practice off your mat. And when you're ready, work your way up into a comfortable seated position, whatever that means to you. Hands to heart center, close your eyes. The survivors are those who at least adapt to change, or even better, learn to benefit from change and grow intellectually and personally. That means careful listening and constant learning. Francis Arnold. divine light in me bows to the divine light in you namaste